Hello, I'm Brendan, and in this video, we'll take a look at building IntelliJ IDEA from its source. Um, as you may be aware, IntelliJ IDEA is open source software, licensed under the Apache 2.0 license. So what this means is you can go into the source code, read it, uh, modify it as you'd like, and if you so choose, you can publish your changes, and you can submit a pull request to the GitHub repo here, and the custodians, JetBrains, will take your pull request, and if it's a valuable contribution, then you'll join the ranks of hundreds of contributors around the world and hundreds of thousands of commits. Together, they help make IntelliJ IDEA the great platform that it is today. So in order to get started, we'll just copy the URL of the GitHub repository where IntelliJ IDEA is hosted. And we can do this in one of two ways. So if you have Git installed, then you can just go to your terminal and type git clone and paste the URL there. I'll just cancel that since I've already cloned it. You have IntelliJ IDEA already, and you will need IntelliJ IDEA to build IntelliJ IDEA. You'll need to download a pre-compiled version of that, which you can get on the JetBrains website. So once you're here, then you can just press Control Shift A and type checkout from version control. You'll enter GitHub. You'll need to provide your access credentials to GitHub. And then once that's all done, you can just paste the GitHub URL here into the Git repository URL field and specify a parent directory and a directory name. Um, it's warning me that it already exists because I've already cloned it. But if it doesn't and you're starting from tabula rasa, then you can just press clone and it'll download that in 15 minutes or however long it takes, right? Okay, so we'll close that. And the first time you run IntelliJ IDEA, you'll need to configure it a little bit. So you'll need to open Control, Shift, Alt, S. And here you'll notice that we're in the project structure dialog. So You'll have your project settings here on the left. You're probably already familiar with the IntelliJ project structure, but you have a project here. Inside a project, you have a bunch of modules that you can reuse um, across other projects. And you have your libraries here. So there are other external library dependencies, and we'll import those. And then um, you have your artifacts, your build artifacts, and your SDK. So the first thing you'll need to do is add the Java 1.6 SDK. So IntelliJ IDEA is built off the JDK version 1.6 here, and we'll need to get that from Oracle or OpenJDK project. Okay, and you'll need to add this tools.jar file from the lib directory in JDK 1.6. That's very important because IntelliJ IDEA depends on that in the class path. And so you can do that by adding it from the installation directory. So here in Windows, it's under Program Files, Java, and 1.6, and this is the x86 version. You can find that right here, tools.jar. That's already added. Okay, so once you have that, then you'll go to the project and you'll need to select that SDK. And you can create a new one if you'd like to create a special profile so you can read that later. Basically, it just needs to have the tools.jar file. Great, okay, so once that's all set, you'll click OK, and then you'll press Control F9 or select Build make the project. Um, this will take about half an hour. So if you open up the event log, you can see the first time I did this, um, the compilation took about 23 minutes. Um, you can speed this up a little bit with an SSD, but aside from that, I expect to um, uh, go for a little cup of tea while you're waiting. Now, in order to make the project, we can press Control F9, and that shouldn't take too long because I already made the project. And so all the files are up to date. And now in order to run IntelliJ IDEA, since we've already compiled it, we can just press Shift F10. Once that kicks off, you'll see the loading screen here, and it will open up a brand new instance of the IDE. Great, so now we can go back into the source code, make any modifications that we'd like, and run or debug this to our heart's content. So last thing I'd like to show you is the structure inside um, the platform module here. And so IntelliJ IDEA isn't just an IDE, um, it's a platform to build other language plugins and IDEs on top of it. In fact, there's many IDEs that are based on IntelliJ IDEA, not just Android Studio and PyCharm, but other open source IDEs like Cursive Closure for the Closure language and other language plugins that leverage some of the tools available from within the IntelliJ platform. So if you go into the platform directory here, you'll see that there are several modules. So we'll go over the core APIs. These are the threading utilities and the Lexer, all the stuff that is non-UI related goes into the core APIs. Um, you'll see the sources here. And then you have the language-specific APIs, such as Java and things like this, are within here. 
Um, and then you have the indexing APIs and things for other components within IntelliJ that don't necessarily fit into these as well. So you have your test runners and things like this. All of these are available inside the, um, the IntelliJ platform, and you can use these to build your own plugins. Uh, so I'll leave you off here to explore the source code more in depth. If you're interested in developing your own custom plugins on IntelliJ IDEA, I'd encourage you to explore documentation as well um, in Confluence. Uh, you can look for that on Google here and see you open up the Confluence page. And so while the source code may not be documented very extensively, um, there is some great resources for learning how to develop using the IntelliJ platform. Uh, so again, I'm Brendan, and this was a demonstration of building IntelliJ IDEA from the source. Thanks for watching.